today on the Squish Show Oceans SMP, we're going to go end raiding. Now, this is something that I've done ages ago in a stream, like a couple of weeks back. I just haven't had the time to actually edit it down into a proper video, so here it is now. So, I hope you enjoy the shenanigans that happen throughout this stream, cut down to a smaller bite sized video for you to enjoy. Let's and hey, if you do enjoy this, make sure you hit that like button that really helps out, especially with these type of videos since they aren't exactly the norm for my channel. Anyhow, let's get into the actual video. So, the first thing I decided to do in this stream was to actually set up my mending villager. As I've got four villages in my little hut, I decided I'd actually finally use one of them for good use and turn one of them into a mending villager since no one else on the server, at least to my knowledge at the time, had actually made a mending villager as of yet. I would regret this decision pretty fast though. Hey guys, welcome to uh, 33 hours of trying to get a mending trade from a villager. I uh, hope you're enjoying the episode. Now the time I didn't actually realize it, but I soon will, is that with one of the vanilla plus mods that we added into our actual server, it actually changes how villagers function as a whole. The two biggest things that I needed to worry about here was A, villagers don't tend to swap jobs and find new trades as quickly as they would normally in normal vanilla Minecraft, as well as the fact that you would also require a bed within range of the villager that they can actively use in order to give them any form of job. So after wasting half an hour and accidentally hitting the villager at least once, I finally got myself a mending book, grab some mending books, head over to the zombie farm that we created, get myself some XP and repair my items before I go craft up some rockets and head towards the end in order to do some end busting. It's finally time. Let's go get ourselves an elytra, boys and girls. The thing that comes down to it when I go end busting is I either get really, really lucky or I'm gonna get extremely unlikely or even just a mixture of both. This is one of those times where it's a mixture of both because when I go through the first portal to go out to the outer end section of the world, I immediately discover not one, but two end cities right near the actual area of the outer end that I get teleported to by the portal. The first end city I discovered was a pretty small one, not really containing too many interesting things aside from some high efficiency tools I did take for myself because they may become useful in a later day because of another beautiful thing of one of the vanilla plus mods is it allows you to put a book and an enchanted item into a grinder so you can get the book with the enchantments on it but destroys the item of which the enchantments were on. But in seeing that I discover more of the end island I discover that there's yet another end city just around the corner in the same massive blob of end islands that have fused together. The next end city is also kind of a smaller one which is a lot taller than the first one contained a few more rooms and a bit more loot. I get a good collection of shulker boxes off of this lot but no larger to speak of. And then after that, we do some exploring. Some more exploring. A little bit more exploring. And you get the picture. It, it took forever to find the next end city. In fact, I kind of like partly cheated a little bit by using a locate command because of course I did. Uh, take it out with the people in chat on stream who said that, yeah, it's perfectly fine for you to do it. You own the server. <laughs> Anyhow, after using the command, I found that my closest stronghold was around 670 blocks away from the current location I was at in a rough location where I'd already gone past at a point in time not that long ago. So I had to do a bit of backtracking and a bit of messing around to actually get to this one. So when I get to the Zen City, it turns out it's one of the big types of NCs that you can get in the game. Now originally as I started to approach it, I couldn't even see a way for there to be an end city ship as it was so goddamn ginormous, but then I see a shadow for the ship off in the distance and discover that, ah, so not only is it several hundred blocks up off the ground, it's also a few hundred away from the actual main area of the city. That's pretty brilliant. But hey, Lytra's there, let's raid this end city. You thought about respawning the dragon for a new gateway to get better end city chance? I kind of want to explore this direction properly first because oh there's an NC there nice because this is where the like the end gate spawned me here and there's an NC just over here so I've got like two NCs within pro close proximity of the first thing and hello again Sam welcome back to the hell hello I've got my game and noodles welcome back to hell it's a big end city. Ooh, does this one have a ship that's the question I want to answer come on uh, please load no. in a ship that would be beautiful no it's gonna be a giant end city without a ship Watch it. Mm -hmm. I thought you said, does the end city have a shit? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, what are the shelters? Let's be real here. Oh my god, it has a ship, but it's all the way at the top. <laughs> I see the shadow of the ship from here. <laughs> but it's literally a shadow. You can't see anything more because it's so way. Bro, there's two gateways next to each other. That is a god shovel. Wait, we can put, we can put enchantments onto a book, can't we? Because I found an iron shovel that has efficiency 5, mending, fortune 3, and unbreaking 3. Yes, you can put them onto a book. That is a literal god shovel there. Because it's iron. Oh my god, this is getting so messy. Oh my god, would you little <laughs> shit stop TPing away from me? 
I didn't expect you to look like that. Thank you, TXR. <laughs> I like the cool the thing where the, the shulkers can duplicate themselves now, but it gets a bit annoying in rooms like this where there's like a million of them. I don't understand why they add to that, but I guess it's certain you can make infinite shulker boxes. Oh, there's one shulker up there. Give me a thing. Shoot me, piece of crap. You're, I see you up there. Oh, it's gonna make me climb up, isn't it? The dream of evolving speedruns. I don't think you want to be called the dream of any form of speedrun because that just indicates that you cheat. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> yes, and you got a point, but I hate it. I understand. Like, it's like it's its own thing, but it's like. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, it's more. Elytra's. Wait, they're hurt. They're continuously duplicating on the outside of this bloody place. Fuck off. Oh, there's a few of them on the ground there, actually. I don't want to go down. Can you just hit me, man? Like... Thank you, Shulker. Hit me again, good Shulkers. Keep hitting me. I need you to float. It's that way. Fuck. You fell. <laughs> it's like, my floating's about to end. Okay, I'm gonna e-pearl over to a new direction so I don't take too much fall damage. Jesus. Oh, we just got on the edge of it! <laughs> I will take the insta health potions, they're useful. Wait, potions stack in this one? Well, that's right, one of the mods stack potions. Banded though, it's a shame. Because I've no I got more than enough rockets, it's just whether the elytra will last long enough. Breaks over void. That's literally the thing that I'm worried about. <laughs> this is where I have to take, like, there's, we're now a thousand blocks away from the portal. This means that like, the rest of it here is just void. Oh, fuck me. Let's go. This is not fun. Da -na 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 -na. I see the island. I understand the Elytra is fast without rockets. Rockets can literally slow you. It depends on how you're flying. I was just flying straight because I don't like doing those flying techniques in the void. Like the up and down flying stuff is never fun to do in the void. I can give you boxes if you don't want to rent any. I um, have plenty here. I was just gonna well. go buy like a handful from Bunnings for like five, 20 bucks, five bucks per. Not that bad. Stuff that you don't need. Your sister's going to college. Is your sister hot? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know. Is she attractive? Is your sister available? <laughs> yeah, that is a that is a question and a half. I'd love to know. Wait, wait. You better ask her age first. Well, yeah. She's going to college, I dude. She's a, she's tw she's at least over eighteen. You don't know. There are some pretty young people who go to college. I'm slowly starting to stream longer and longer each time I stream. <laughs> what the fuck? Someone died. Aaron, she's just, Creep. She's just streaming like again. <laughs> Perfectly cut off. Leave screams. the cow alone. Stop molesting it. Whoa. <laughs> So yeah, I've made the decision for the time being to keep this series on my main channel. In fact, I'm actually starting to make some shorts on the second channel. So if you want to see some short form content created by me, go check it out over there. I've also made some of my time lapses. I've made in other videos and do far shorter versions of it so you can see it pretty damn quickly. And let me know, did you enjoy the style at the start of this video? That's kind of like the style that I'm doing in the uh, 100 day videos coming out hopefully this weekend if everything goes to plan. But either way, I'll see you guys most likely tomorrow with another Origin Showcase video. And until then, goodbye. Thank you.